Hello guys and welcome to my desktop. And before I start today's video, I'm going to to show you guys a quick reminder that I have now reached 25 subscribers on my YouTube channel. So thank you and I appreciate all of all of our guys. And I don't think so. So today I want to show you Windows 7 Home Premium in action on a real computer, which is in, which is an Asus A43s is the Intel Core i3 processor. So here's a proof. It says that here's a proof. It says that Intel Core i3 2330M CPU clocked at 2.2 gigahertz. It's running with 4 gigabytes of RAM. 64 bit operating system. So the 64 bit operating system during the BSOD, it displays 64 bit, uh, I mean the 16 has a decimal digit during BSOD instead of 8 digit BSOD. And as you can see here, no pen or touch input. Unlike the EEE PC, it's now phased out for some reason. So let's try Winver. So as you can see, I'm now running Windows 7 Home Premium version 6.1 with 7601 service pack 1. And, and um, so let's go to my computer and see what happens. Windows E, and as you can see here, the use space is more than free space. It is 115 gigabytes, plus 80.8 gigabytes. So this one is 210,000, 210 billion, 764 million, 820,000, nearly uh, 480 bytes of hard drive. So as you can see here in space C apparently made by pure form. In the version 1.28.79 is the latest version as of today. And as you can see it has detected my RAM and my hard drive. Which is a set of hard drive 465 gigabytes. Hard drive. There's approximately nearly 500 gigabytes. So as you can see here, this runs very fast. And as you can see here, the motherboard is K43SJ. It's running 4 gigabytes of DDR dual channel DDR3 RAM. It also comes with Celestia 1.0. 6.1.6.1 1. 1. I need to show you guys. So this one is a reference of my comparison, including the third version of my comparison. Here's my, here's my, I mean, okay, it's still holding, and we're back to the earth. So let's find some about here. Since that is 2001 to 2010, just finding some of the you know, most common something something like that. And let's, let's try Internet Explorer. This is the newest version of the Internet Explorer. It's the new with the version 11. As you can see here, it says that IE11 is the latest known version. It's 11.0.9600. This 9600 is built for Windows 8.1. Okay, next one I'm going to show you some stuff running Windows. 
seven, and we have Google Earth. And it's still working. And it detects my location too. Alright, we're we are back to the Google Earth. And let's see that the Earth the Google Earth version is 7.1.2. So let's find some let's try malware bytes. So this malware bytes. So the malware malware bytes is some to scan the malware detected on my computer, and it's and it's still looking for 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 some reasons for some reason. Sorry, sorry for the bad English. Sorry for the bad English. And now we are back into malware bytes. And it says that your databases are out of date. My databases are out of date. Let's update it. And it's the changes as commission mark to check. I'm trying to update. As you can see here, it's trying to run malware bytes. What is running about? It's 2.0.4.1028. So this is the updated version because there is a new version of malware bytes in version 2.1.4 something something I don't know. Okay. So next application is the vest. It says that um my version is protected. And as you can see here, it's version 10.0.2208. Is really cool enough. All right, the next one for 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 some unknown reasons, it restores my tab back, unlike the older versions of Google Chrome. Now let's try it. It says that it's version forty one point zero point zero seven two point one one eight. M means mobile, for, by the way, and Microsoft Office 2013. It's still starting. Okay, let's try blank document. And let's try some words. And I can try it. This is that it is. As you can see, when I try to, I mean to 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 complete the dashes, it will um it will be redirected to this line. As you can see, it says that it's borderline. It's making it's automatically creating a borderline. This one,
So the HDD means the hard disk drive. And that's all for today. And hope you enjoy it. So see you guys later when I I, I when I will make the, the universe comparison pillars.